What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is a sample shopping episode and of course many of you know these episodes are sponsored by DecanShop.com. Um, best, best place online to get samples and decans from. Prices blow everything else out of the water. There are gift cards available. The fragrances are measured before they're poured to ensure that you're always getting what you pay for. There are frequent, frequent seals sales the collection uh, selection is just bananas uh, all kinds of discontinued scents vintage scents uh, designer scents niche scents rare scents you cannot beat this place i'm not just saying that because they they sponsor me i'm saying that because it's it's the place where i tell my friends and family to get decants and samples from online and if you don't believe me just check decan shops prices up against the competition and you'll see that there uh, really is no match. So remember to always shop at decantshop.com. And if you are interested in any of the fragrances we discussed in that video, in this video, you can, of course, get them from decantshop.com. And if you use coupon code MAX12 when you check out, you will save 12% off your final price. That is for any item uh, of any size. That 12% off is good for there. So if the prices aren't already low enough, which they are, you can get that extra 12%. And all the fragrances we'll be talking about today are available at decantshop.com. Now, first up uh, this week, we have a fragrance from the house of L'Artisan Parfumé. And this one is called Méchant Lou. Uh, and that means Angry Wolf in French. And this is a Bertrand Duchot 4 fragrance. Now, this one hasn't been a huge hit with Freycom. But uh, if you haven't already figured it out, I'm working my way through this house. And I want to get through the catalog and smell everything. Uh, this one was released in 97 and carries typical the artisan pricing. It's about $100, ML, $100 for 50 ml and about $165 for 100 ml. And note on this are hazelnut, honey, sandalwood, cedar, licorice, and myrrh. And I'm a huge licorice fan. Um... So I was a bit apprehensive about this scent because there's some people that feel like this might be Dusho 4's worst work. And uh, a reviewer whose opinion I have a ton of respect for, Raj from the UK, really didn't like this. And he's a fan of the house like I am. And what I get out of this is I get honey, I get myrrh, I get licorice, but they're all just very watery and light. Um, it's not a gourmand fragrance. It's a, it's a little too dry to be considered a gourmand. Um, definitely works better on skin than, than pet tester strips, but it still isn't great. Just feels like a messy fragrance that was incomplete. Um, and, and one of the few La artisans that I just don't really like, you know, there's just nothing that really stands out about this. It, it feels poorly constructed and not thought out. Uh, it's a letdown and, uh, it's not a bad scent. As I said, it smells good. It's just too light. And, and I don't love the lighter scents from the Artisan. And this is the artist, the lightest that I've come across yet. This is a Jean-Claude... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, this is a Duchot 4. But there's another fragrance called Bois Farine by Jean-Claude Elena. And uh, I feel like this is even lighter than that. And that's saying something. So sadly, I will not be adding Michel Loop to my collection uh, anytime soon. Next up, we have a scent from another house that's sort of become a regular um, on the sample shopping episode. And this is, that is the house of uh, Amouage. And the fragrance this time is called Beloved Man. And a pretty recent release here, 2013. This was a Bergdorf exclusive first. And some other high-end department stores got it as well. And this, it, this was a very expensive release, even for Amouage. The 100 ml bottles were running close to $400. And uh, believe it or not, FragranceNet had this for a while. For, like, I think $220. But they're out of it now. Um, and this is one of the few Amouage fragrances from their general releases that I haven't gotten my nose on. I think the only one other one is silver and a few of the uh opus releases and some of the atars but uh i'll be checking those out as well and there's a lot of notes in this fragrance just like amouage usually does there's grapefruit there's lemon there's a lemmy there's jasmine there's orris there's geranium saffron cedar gayak leather patchouli musk and vetiver and this is a really good scent um I don't love most of Amouage fragrances. You know, I can name them all on one hand. I like CL Man. I like Jubilation 25. I like Reflection Man, Interlude Man, and Opus 6. And I think this guy's right up there with those. I think it's really well blended. Um, 
I'm surprised there's no cumin or coriander in this because I get a Middle Eastern spice bazaar kind of thing going on. Um, and I also feel like this is what a lot of 80s fragrances want it to be. Uh, bold, punching, heavily spiced, very rich and layered. And this is just well executed. And while I probably wouldn't pay retail for this because it's too expensive, um, if this fragrance were ever to go back on FragranceNet, I, I would definitely pick this up. I think this is one of Amouage's more complete offering. So I really, really like Beloved Man. It's a really nice, smoky, sort of spicy, very complex fragrance. I think they did a good job with it. Now, next up, we have a fragrance from the Dior Privé line. We've looked at a few of those on this show. We've looked at Eau Noir. We looked at Bois d'Argent. Uh, I did a full review on Mitza. And today, we're looking at Patchouli Imperial. And it's normal Dior Privé pricing for these fragrances, about $180 for the 4.25-ounce bottles and $250 about for the 8.5-ounce bottles. I don't love patchouli fragrances, but I've recently enjoyed Cose by Parfumerie Generale and Borneo 1834 by Laton, so I figured I would give this one a chance. Notes here are coriander at the top, Indonesian patchouli essence in the middle, and two types of sandalwood essence in the base. And uh, usually these scents are surprisingly complex, even with the limited number of listed notes. And this is a Dimache fragrance, Francois Dimache, and I like this. This reminds me a bit of Cozy, as that sandalwood sort of gives the patchouli some creaminess and sweetness. This is earthy and woody, very elegant patchouli scent. Uh, I find it hard to find patchouli scents that smell expensive, and this one does that. Uh, would I buy this? I don't think so. You know, there are some other Dior Privé scents that I want to own before this, uh, mainly Vetiver and Amber Nuit, but I cannot design the quality here and the absolute brilliant job that Dior does both at their designer line and at their Privé line. Um, I think of all the design houses that have these upscale lines, Xenia, D&G, Armani, YSL, Prada, you know, Hermes, Chanel, Tom Ford. I think Dior is the most consistent. It has the best sense in the group. So hats off to them. Uh, well done. This is a really nice uh, patchouli scent that's got enough going on around it so it's not completely dominated by the patchouli. Uh, but I think this is just an excellent scent. Uh, and I think it, it, it's got good longevity and projection. And if you like patchouli, you definitely got to check, check this guy out. Next up, finally for this week, we have a fragrance from the house of By Killian, and this one's called Incense Oud. This is an offering from their Arabian Nights collection, and the perfumer here is Sidwan Lansose. Uh, the perfumer's done other scents for the house, including the New York boutique exclusive Apple Brandy, and has also done scents for other houses like Azaro, Joe Voy, and Olfactive Studio. Notes listed on this fragrance are Guatemalan cardamom, pink pepper, Turkish Rose, Egyptian Geranium, Methyl Pample Mousse, Virginia Cedarwood, Indone Indonesian Patchouli, Indian Papyrus, Somalia Incense, the Oil and the Absolute, uh, Labdanum, and Musk. So, ton going on in this fragrance. Very pricey offering from By Killian at $395 for that 50 ml that comes with the coffin. But you can get the travel spray and an ounce for $235. Or you can get a 50 ml refill for 185, which is a lot more reasonable. But those coffins are so beautiful. Um, this is a really well blended fragrance. Uh, beautiful, beautiful high end incense here. But uh, so much more than just high end incense. Uh, incense. I get the grapefruit from the pamplemousse. I get a green earthy note from the patchouli and the oak moss and the geranium. Uh, I get woodiness from the cedar. There's a creamy sweetness from the sandalwood. You know, this is one of those fragrances where I think you could smell them a hundred times and still not get everything that's there. So this would be a great signature scent because you can never get bored of it. Uh, but unfortunately, I think what would keep me away from it is the price. Um, I really like the Bikillians and I like having them in their coffins. And this is just too expensive to, to do that with. Um, also, you know, this is called Incense Oud, and I just don't think that the Oud is there. Uh, it's just more of an incensey, smoky, and earthy fragrance. Um, as I said, I can't say this is going to go on my to-buy list. Uh, you know, but if I spend more time with it and I really dug it, you know, maybe I, I would put it on my to-buy list. And if I did, I, I think I'd probably go with the Travel Spray, uh, which is obviously much more reasonably priced. But the Travel Spray, this, you know, still costs about as much of a coffin. As, as other um, by Killian scents. And I think, you know, I, I, I the next one I'm probably going to get, or the next two are probably going to be Straight to Heaven uh, and, and Apple Brandy. 
but this is really interesting, top-notch juice from, from the House of By Killian. Um, I'm not sure if I get the rose that's listed here, which is surprising because I, I was told that's supposed to be a big player here, but it isn't for me. It's just more about beautiful incense with uh, a bunch of notes to accompany it to, to make it smell great. So this is a really good job by, by, by Killian. I can see why people like this as much as they do. Uh, next week on the show, just so you guys know, we'll be looking at fragrances from Parfum to Empire. Uh, our first fragrance ever from the House of Atelier. Uh, a discontinued gem from Victor and Rolf. Yes, antidote. Uh, and another scent from the By Killian Arabian Nights collection. So we got two more episodes from this haul of scents that I got from the decan shot. Then I'm going to take another one week break where I'm going to give you my grooming regime uh, gro grooming ro routine and then uh, we'll be back with more sample shopping episodes this week coming up just so you know you can expect the final best of list for 2013 we're going to do my top 10 niche fragrances that I purchased in 2013 and then we'll, we're going to be reviewing a Creed fragrance this weekend so lots of content coming remember to go to decantshop.com and check these fragrances out I would definitely recommend checking out checking out Beloved Man uh, Patchouli Imperial and the uh, By Killian Incense Suit if you're an incense lover. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. I want to thank you all so much for watching. DecantShop.com, coupon code MAX12. I'm out. Peace.